Every day, for months, even years, they submit themselves to a ritual which to outsiders seems brutal. This is no gentle baptism with holy water. The priests, protected themselves from a soaking, wrestle the devout and the desperate. She screams for the demons to be cast out of her HIV-infected body. The virus has no power on their body and blood because that's controlled by the grace of Our Lady. But not everyone wants to be here. Some are chained to friends or relatives to prevent them running away. This is Mount Toto, high above the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa. Thousands of pilgrims come from all over the country in search of a cure for HIV AIDS. The Church of the Virgin Mary is built over a mountain stream. The priests believe the water is blessed. Anyone who enters this sacred ground must go barefoot. And those who wish to receive the holy water must remove their clothes. Men and women are separated. This dimly lit shack with people packed in, naked and cowering, reminded me of a scene from the Holocaust. Except that those who come here believe they're being offered life, not death. This woman has been here for two weeks, arriving soon after she was diagnosed with HIV. She doesn't want drugs until she's tried what the Ethiopian Orthodox Church has to offer. The priests here will never be short of patience because Ethiopia has the third highest number of HIV AIDS cases in the whole of Africa. Between two and three million people are thought to have the virus and more than 160,000 people have already died. Women who are menstruating are not allowed inside, but are bathed separately. <laughs> Jita Tadesi has already lost her two-year-old child to AIDS. She's been coming here for three years, still hoping for a miracle. <laughs> this man claims he has been cured and gives his testimony to encourage others to believe. <laughs> but this devotion will cost some people their lives. Even though the church... Faith is used alongside modern medicine. The people who want to receive holy water are ordered to stop taking their medication. The priest told me this was a hospital and those receiving his treatment should not use any other drugs. It's an attitude reminiscent to the Gambian president. He was last month that he can personally cure AIDS if people follow his methods alone. Antiretroviral drugs don't offer a cure, but they do stop the disease taking hold. Doctors are horrified that priests are putting lives at risk. That's really devastating because you have a patient on treatment and discontinues his medication abruptly. The viral load will rebound. The disease will tend to progress faster and patients will die sooner. Pilgrims in search of heavenly intervention are not only endangering their own health, those who've wrongly been told they're cured are likely to spread the infection to others. Doctors in Ethiopia know they're battling attitudes which are deep-rooted. Ancient superstitions passed down the generations, which will mean some will not be saved. Inwards Sky News, Addis Ababa.